Welcome to IBC 2023. We're here at the Adobe booth. My name is Francis Crossman. I'm the senior product manager of Premiere Pro, and I've got some exciting enhancements in artificial intelligence powered features to show you here. So text-based editing is an AI-powered workflow powered by speech-to-text. We released it back in May, we previewed it at NAB, and already it's really transformed the way that our editors are creating rough cuts. What happens is that a transcript is created of all your source material while you bring it in. It runs in up to 18 different languages. It identifies different speakers, so you can tell who's talking when. And any edits that you make in your transcript are then automatically reflected on your timeline. So I like to say, so long as you can cut, copy, and paste text, you can now edit inside Premiere Pro. But here at the show at IBC this year, we're announcing some improvements, and these are based on direct feedback that we got from customers. So when I was demoing back at NAB in Las Vegas, I always got the same questions. Oh, you can identify pauses. Can I just remove all of them at once? And also, can you identify those filler words, those um, ah, and uh, those sort of things that plague most interviews? Well, now we're happy to say that you can do both of those things. So I'm going to take you through a quick demo of how to do that. Here I am in Premiere Pro. I'm in the text-based editing workspace. We can see the transcript here on the left. And I've got my timeline here. I've got the beginnings of an interview taking shape, and now what I want to do is start tightening it up. So I'm going to automatically remove all of the pauses, and let me show you how that works. So we have this filter tool up here. I can select pauses, and you'll notice that it's highlighting all of these pauses throughout the transcript. We can choose the minimum duration of a pause, and you can go anywhere down from a tenth of a second and you'll notice that the transcript is automatically updating, showing that I now have 74 results for those pauses. Or you can go all the way up to two and a half seconds. That's quite a long pause. And in this case, uh, we don't have any that are that long. I'm going to really tighten this up and go all the way to a tenth of a second. And I'm going to hit this Delete button. I've got a couple of options. I can do an Extract or Lift but extract is going to close the gaps, which is what I want. So I will hit delete all. And what you notice is that the timeline automatically has created a lot of cuts. So this is the sort of thing that, as an editor, I've done quite a lot myself. You want to go through and find those pauses, all those bits of dead space, and remove them. This would have probably taken me a good hour, and it happened in just the blink of an eye. So this is going to be a big time savings for editors. The other thing that we can now find are filler words. So if I search for filler words, what we're finding here is every time where someone is saying a sort of a non-verbal thing, like uh, eh, uh, those kind of things, and we can remove those as well. So I'm going to hit delete all. And in the blink of an eye, again, it has made all those edits on the timeline. So these are the sort of things that are just really going to accelerate the editing workflow. And so much of our stuff is dialogue driven that this is going to be a huge time savings for editors. The other thing that's quite related to dialogue as well is cleaning up the quality of the vocal recording itself. And so we have a new AI-powered enhanced speech process that I'm going to show you now. What we have here is some archival video that was captured off a of VHS tape from the 90s. And it's quite noisy. So I'm going to play it back for you now. And then we'll turn on enhanced speech, and you can see a before and after. The race is being sponsored this year by the Chelmsford JCs and the Courthouse Racquetball Club. Organizers say the date change is designed to bring more attention to the race that will hopefully translate into more money for the scholarship fund. So now I'm going to turn on enhanced speech. It is in the essential sound panel right here. It's just a simple click of a button. And now when I play this back, you're going to see, you're going to hear a big difference. The race is being sponsored this year by the Chelmsford JCs and the Courthouse Racquetball Club. 
Organizers say the date change is designed to bring more attention to the race that will hopefully translate into more money for the scholarship fund. Another use case for enhanced speech is, you know, we have all shot things and had the horror of dis uh, discovering after you get back to the edit that the fancy lavalier microphone has failed, the battery died or what have you, and all you're left with is in-camera audio. And enhanced speech can often be used to rescue situations like that and really kind of save your bacon on jobs. And so here's an example of that. Hi, I'm Keelan Matthews and I'm a track coach. Hi, I'm Keelan Matthews and I'm a track coach. So it's really a night and day result. And this is going to allow you to clean up even the worst recorded audio. And in many cases, rescue what would otherwise be an unusable shot. So we're really excited to get these AI-powered enhancements into the hands of our users and see the really creative stuff that our customers do with them.